Welcome to another Chess24 uh, stream. It's actually, um, I've just loaded up Visual Studio by accident. No, better close that. It's actually the anniversary, the fourth, four years anniversary of Chess24, which I've been uh, very excited to be uh, part of in the last couple of years. Uh, so also, please remember you can get 15% off the voucher code Kings Crusher, Kings plural, Crusher. Uh, if you want to challenge me or other streamers uh, anytime so uh, I've got a very strong lineup today uh, okay <laughs> uh, so let's take the first challenge I hope audio and everything is okay I'm going to check my audio uh, level I should have I should have checked that okay I'm just checking audio I right, take the first challenge Valnut. I'm I'm okay, drunken lawyer. Okay, Valnut. Uh, um, e4, yeah. I'm playing e4 here. <clears throat> I tried other stuff in over the board recently without much success. I tried knight c3. I tried e3. I'm going to try and. I try and pretend I think it's better to try and pretend like you're a good player in the opening like John Nunn because then you might get an opening advantage I didn't have much hope advantage from weird opening choices it works better online I think uh, in blitz rather than over the board I've noticed so okay I'm pretending as if I could try and get an advantage from this opening this looks like 1970s style Queen F3 castle queenside Well, maybe it is trending now. Okay, so it looks reasonable anyway. Just, just the castle queen side here. Uh, some tactics, I suppose. Knight takes e4, hits the bishop on h4. Right, I can play e5, hitting the rook here. What's the matter with that? <coughs> Okay, uh, that's the matter with that. Yeah. Okay. Um. Hmm. I, I guess. I guess this, this is a pawn set now. <clears throat> Uh, a nebulous pawn sack. Can I play knight e6 just to keep the king? In, uh, the king can castle queen side. Oh, uh, queen e7. Maybe knight e6 is uh, is interesting. Although, okay. Uh, if I take on d5, as knight takes c3, check wrecking my structure. Okay, so I'll take here. Yeah, I think. And take on e7, leaving that king in the center. Now there is knight f5 for rook d5. Uh, this might be interesting. Knight f5 for rook d5. Looks like it does something useful. I'm not quite sure what. I mean, the king's in the center. Maybe this is useful. Um. If the king moves, then knight takes d6. Alright, can I play knight takes d6? Right, my c2 pawn is a bit vulnerable. I was actually going to factor in bishop a2 as well. Okay, can't play rook c8 just yet. Uh, so. There's Queen A3, I've just noticed as well. King can go there. There's Bishop D3. Queen A3 might be a good idea. Queen A3. Uh, okay. Um, now Rook takes, I can get back row mated. Uh, if I play Rook takes, I can play B3. That seems uh, safer. And try and connect the Rooks up so I can control e1 can i control e1 soon 
Bishop e2, now threatening. Rook takes d5 and queen takes d7. Now I'm controlling e1. As rook takes b5 here. Okay. So this looks quite pleasant now. F7 and then something like if needed bishop coming to d3 if the king is making a wrong for it. Queen takes king h7 bishop d3. I can't see too much defense there. Um, queen takes f4 is rook f1. Alright. So bishop d3 here. There's queen e4 I guess. Legal move. Uh, okay, thanks for the game, uh, rather than that. Uh, okay, so the next challenge. Johan, very dangerous opponent here. Johan will meet us. Okay, very dangerous opponent. He's taken me apart in some of the past encounters. Oh, I'm going to have to be very careful. I'll try Karakon. I'm hoping this will be okay. Go on the main line. Let's try and stop knight e5. Okay, I was expecting h4. Try and control the c5 and e5 square. Oh. Alright, maybe not. Can I just kick that for a moment? For bishop d6? Bishop g5, bishop e7. Oh, I don't expect that. Whoa, this h file looks as though it could be dangerous. There's also knight takes f4 here. I think I, I like the idea of having the h file. This active rook. I, I want, usually, black wants the castle queen side in the Korokon. Um, mm, can I play just with king f7 I wonder is this too dangerous um, just to keep my active rook mm, I could take on e3 or just we have uh, I don't know if that's too timid knight b6 the thing is with knight e3 this f file could have been dangerous Let's get back on this. Oh no, let's c5. Okay. Uh, g5. I could try g5 just to hold against bishop f4. I don't know how weak my e6 is here on this e file coming up. Okay, what's uh, something like bishop g5 in the air? Okay, I've got to be careful. This? Something like bishop g5 could be destructive, but at least the rook's holding e6. Can I play for rook h3? If I played rook h3 here, it seems somewhat dangerous. Oh, that's good, good for a laugh. <clears throat> oh, there is queen e4. This might be a, an unsound attack. Uh, yeah, queen g2, okay. Huh. Alright, I have to try and knight f8 g6 to h4. Oh. I'm starting to feel the regret. What about e5 and bishop c5? e5 for bishop c5 trying to disrupt this diagonal and oh, pin that knight um, yeah that was nifty queen e4 to g2 uh, uh, why did I, I overestimate um, mm. 
Mm. Mm, no real threats at the moment. Maybe knight e5. Is that any good? Oh, there's queen b7 check as well coming along. Um, queen h4. It's knight f5. Bishop e5. Oh, this is a horrible. Um, queen d3. Is there rook d2? Queen g3. Okay, I'll try this. I'll try this. Rook d2, queen g3. Oh, actually threatening everything. Knight f5. Oh, there's rook h2. Rook f3. Uh, <laughs> rook f3. Uh, is knight e5 going to be handy? Uh, nope. I can feel the pressure here. Oh, this is this is too much. Hmm. I think I regret the rook sacks now. <clears throat> to be a nuisance of some sort. There's rookie four coming up. Um, King G eight and rookie four. Or rookie four and a rook H three and queen F five. Okay. Um, Oh, there's rookie free tactic here. So G G six. I'm hoping this knight moves. There's knight D six. Oh, I'm taking there. All right. Mm. Uh, knight E five. Maybe knight E five. Oh. Okay, this is G6. Uh, is there something on D1 here, potentially? Is there something on D1? This knight's holding D1 at the moment. Three coming. Um. Hmm. Mm, this isn't very good, is it? Queen b seven is rookie seven. Is there queen g six for queen b one? Queen g six for queen b one. Knight f one. Oh, there's rook f six here. No, there's not rook f6 there, okay. Uh, just to loose that, that, okay, there isn't at least rook f6 there. Um, right, I think I'll go with queen g6. Trying for queen b1. It'd be nice to have this rookie 8 to h8. Queen b1, queen f1. All right. Is Queen B1 doing anything here? There's Rookie 1 check. This could be handy. Rookie 1 check. All right. <clears throat> oh, F6 is, is, is falling. Um, so I think that's, that's pretty bad news. F6 falling. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
Yep. Ah. Ah. It's gone. Ah. All right. Well played. Well played. That was really unsound by me. Thanks. Okay. Uh, that Queenie 4 is very nifty, though. To, G to G2. All right. Fenneman. Um. Ah. Uh, okay. I, I didn't need to do that rucksack. That was horrible. I didn't mean to do it. I mean, I did mean to do it, but Qu if I'd seen Queenie 4 to G G2, maybe not. I was tempted at the time. School so far. Hmm. Um, let's do this. Knight, I don't know. Knight E8 for F5. Knight. This bishop's a bit awkward. I'll just put it there for a moment. I right. ahead of knight g3. And I'll maybe play for c5. c5. Uh, knight c6 to a5. Um, rookie eight, nine, C six. Okay, it's pretty locked down position. F seven is vulnerable now. Okay, I'll protect it with my king as well. Okay, go to maybe go to F four. Uh, G six and then King G seven. King uh G six King G seven. All right. Okay. Uh, I'll put that back for a moment. Mm, so knight h6 might be handy. Okay, I'll just retreat, I think. Protect F6 a bit more. Seems to be on the defensive here. Can I go for Knight G4 check? Hmm. Protect F7 and then Knight G4. Although I'm not sure what I'm doing after that. Knight G four. Let's try and discourage D four for a moment. That, that's played anyway. Okay. Um. Knight G four here. Right, d6 is uh, not great, so I'll try and play for d, uh, d5, looks grim. <laughs> this is not good. Knight g4, okay. Um, mm, okay, uh, this pawn's dropping. Uh, this isn't good. 
I'm just getting it dismantled here. All right. Uh, okay. Just here. At least do this. Try and undo all the pawns. Okay. Rookie eight. And then. Oh no, e4 pressure. What about actually knight e5 would have been something. Still do that here. Maybe. Queen takes and then knight takes e4. Oh, my queen's protected, so can I do knight takes c4? So queen takes, knight takes. Still doesn't look uh, easy. Just winning the exchange here doesn't look easy. Uh, oh, maybe uh, I can just double the rooks here. Okay, let's just take it here, take it here. As bishop f7 for knight d6 check. So maybe I ignore that and try and just win the a4 pawn. Actually, I can go for this pawn. Uh, get rid of this, this going. Uh, B3. of the game yeah I think I was struggling yeah I don't know what I was doing after the opening <laughs> I really I was that was bad well played uh okay try and be a bit uh have a plan this time rather than react uh I'll try King's engine or not all right this one You take me out of my King's Indian territory. So E6 and Bishop E7. Um, not exactly in the comfort zone now. And B7 could be. Yep. Under fire. Um, B6 only absolutely murdered. Uh, I 
actually I'm protecting b7 at the moment anyway with that knight so why don't I just just do this <laughs> If he wants to win a pawn, there's a backfire of some sort with rook b8, rook b2. Ah, uh, I hope this is okay. It's not moving his kingside pieces. Can I just castle and hope for the best? Okay, I'm waiting for him to move his kingside pieces. He's not really interested in taking on b7, surely. Takes, 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 queen b7, rook b8, pull by rook b2. Can I play knight b6? Now takes takes eight would be eight. Now maybe knight d five is handy. He takes I can take with this one uh, towards the center. Bishop g uh, bishop g three. Alright, that's a nice bishop, surely, to have. Now his e3 is hanging, potentially. Uh, I think I'll take towards the center it's mentioned. Oh, there's bishop b4 check as well to think about. Now, if he castles, I mean, queen h4 is probably dangerous. But bishop b4 check is the immediate threat. This is a target, generally. I'm just wondering how can I exploit that. Well, bishop, bishop, bishop b4 check here looks like a nice check to try and be a nuisance. <clears throat> and I want to try and provoke some sort of weakness with maybe g3. see um, maybe it's not a problem uh, Queen g5 King f1 or something or g3 hmm. All right, see if I can provoke f4 I'm hoping that these are some sort of positive things to to get white to play here um, I can take that rook This is another strange game. Uh, right, d four's attacked now. Check, and then there's f four. I don't know if that's worth. Or maybe c five here to try and open up things. Um, uh, okay, uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll put the queen back here to protect c7 for a moment. And then maybe c5 without trying to lose a pawn. Just c5 trying to break the center with c5. Okay, that is a sort of self-pin situation, which um, surely, uh, immediately actually there's b6. So takes takes knight c5 this b6. Uh, so now I'm threatening c4 and queen c5 maybe c4. 
again knight takes c4 is b5 this check might be handy we'll just wait for rook d7 uh, rook d7 check and then b4 Yeah, it might be good to play B4 here just to try and get these pawns going. With C3 next, just as as a means of distraction, if nothing else, to tie um, resources down to try and stop the pawn. Rook D7. I've got to worry about the soft spot F7 a little bit. Maybe Queen C5 here. and c2 coming up now knight d7 there's rook b1 and knight d3 there's rook b1 knight c1 rook c1 Thanks for the game, Grief. Uh, okay, uh, Shelling. <laughs> what are we good again, Shelling? Maybe, uh, possibly. I'm, I'm gonna try B3 here. <clears throat> Close the center. Nope. Okay, I'm blocking in the bishop. Bishop seems, I don't know, seems okay uh, to get some sort of reasonable position at the opening at least, surely. Uh, okay. Well, I'm starting to think could have played London system. That's a safe thing. Uh, knight d7 and queens. Oh, sorry, queen c2. Yeah. Okay, so build up with. Um, I'll stop bishop g6 with f5 here. Yeah. h3 g4 for bishop uh, for f5. Rook a e1. h3 friends g4 for f5. Let's try this. Would he really sack a knight here? Bishop f8 g4. Is he sacking a knight or a bishop? Is it sound? I uh, wouldn't have thought so. <clears throat> Although maybe it is. Um, I mean, maybe it's dangerous. Uh, although I, I might have bishop h7 and queen f5 as well. Let's imagine this queen coming into h4. Um, I'll start calculating here. Rook, rook e3. Okay, rook e3. Wow. I can play rook f3 as an alternative. So g takes... Um, I kind of like King G2. Why do I like King G2? Rook H5. Is King G2 has got something going for it? Maybe. I like Rook H1. Rook H1. I'm trying to get rid of his attacking Rook and use the H7 pawn. Alright, so let's imagine rook h5, rook h1, bishop f4, knight f3, with the threat of rook h5 and bishop h7. Let's say rook h1, rook h1, 
as long as the queen's not coming in on dark squares. So let's imagine rook h1, rook h5, rook h1, bishop f4, knight f3. So I'm playing for, okay, um, uh, it would have been nice to have inserted, oh, to stop queen g4 check. Uh, okay, um, this one, queen g4, rook g1, maybe. Well, there's knight g4 now. Okay. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it does that. I just mess up. Totally. Hmm. It's possible. Queen g3, king e2, rook e8, rook e5, rook e5. If he's taking time out for knight h5, oh no. Rook f1 for king d1, rook e8, rook e5, knight h5, rook f1, rook e8, king d1. So I'm hoping I get a chance to play king d1 at least. King d1, queen g2, king, okay. Rook e8, king d1. Queen g2, king d1. Bishop's protecting the rook. If I get a chance for queen f2. Bishop e2. There's bishop c1 potentially. There's queen f5, is that handy? For queen c8. Queen f5 could be handy. Hits h5 and c8. Ah, oh, maybe I could have played that instead. Ah, oh, actually, right, there's bishop c1 here. Um, okay, rookie one. I have knight g3. And for knight g3, there's bishop f4. If bishop c1, queen c1, there's knight g3. There's knight g5 there. Right, there's knight g5 or knight g3. Is there a check? Alright. Uh, I'll get back to protecting e2 for a moment. Knight g3, queen d3. Okay, I don't want to lose a piece back really. Um, knight g1 for a moment. Oh, is this too passive? I'm hoping it's not too passive. Um... There's queen b1. Okay, can I grovel with this? Oh, he's got knight d. Okay. Ah, he's got queen c1. He's got knight d3. <laughs> knight f3. Oh, no. Okay, I'm stuck. Queen c1? Maybe queen c1? 
I was still knight d3. Queen c2. Queen c2. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I mean, precise defensive moves uh, this, against queen b1. I need a precise defensive move. Queen c2. Okay. Uh, this, this is this is interesting. Okay. Okay, is there bishop f3 here? Uh, got a few checks myself. All right, so, uh, this I'm going to try and um, knight e2 then. Oh no! <laughs> no! No! Okay, it was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. Oh. Oh, that's so cruel. That's so cruel. <sighs> horrified, horrified. Okay, okay, it was too difficult. It was too difficult to defend. Well played, well played. I, I cracked. And I've got another really easy opponent here. <laughs> oh, okay, it's a free minute. Okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I'll try Trumpowski. This is a bit of a relative of a London system. Faster pace than that three minute. <sighs> okay, so I'll double behind this guy. Does he take her? Alright, so some sort of he's doing some sort of minority attack then. Um Knight E three coming up. Some sort of attack here. Yeah. Okay, I'm taking that off. Too dangerous. Just the exchange down, or is there some compensation? Mm. 
I think there's some compensation now. I can get these pawns going. There's two connected past pawns, I just need to get them going. Uh, if I can. Okay, so D6 looks dangerous. Um, right. Can I do this for King C5? Coming up. King C5, Rook A1 to A7. Okay, I'll try and hold this. Uh, there's a knight d4 maybe is the faster way. Right now I'll try and get this check if I can. Uh, am I going to get c5 in? Okay, there's this one as well. Okay, at least I get a pawn over here. Okay, um, get some time on the clock here. Get this pawn going. the game okay okay thanks I, I uh, okay <laughs> I thought there was compensation for the exchange uh, <sighs> okay <laughs> all right uh, the drunken lawyer Transposition into a Sicilian thing. Um, whatever this is, I don't know what this is. Let's see. So, CD ninety five <laughs> bishop h two coming up potentially. What about bishop f six? If I just take her, queen c two. Ninety five. There's always bishop h two. Okay. I'll take this out of the equation. so passive in this position I look passive you can just exchange Queens this is not good oh, I haven't got anything out of the opening um, 
Queen c2 or queen b3, I don't like double pawns particularly. I've got to do something. Bishop c4 for bishop b3. I've got queen h5 check here. It is passive. Oh, I can win f3 as well. Okay. <clears throat> can I just get rid of this queen there? Can I go for bishop f3? He's always got knight d4. Hmm. <laughs> Rook H1, Rook H4. Alright, so Knight C2 is going to be a pain. Knight D3 is going to be a pain. At least he hasn't got Knight E5, so I'm going to play Bishop F3. Knight D3 is going to be a pain. Queen B1. Knight d3, queen b1. Anything else? Say like queen moves. There's always knight f4 check winning the queen. So knight d3, queen b1. Queen d. Uh, yeah, queen b1. So knight d3, queen c2. There's knight f4 check. Knight d3, queen b1. There's still knight f4 being threatened here. Nasty. I'll try and avoid that being check. Why don't, why don't I just take this as rook b8? Alright, this, this is a check as well. Um, Maybe I should do this. Losing this b2 pawn is going to be nasty. Again, more pressure. I right, keep a finch at a bishop. Uh, there's, there's a pin here as well. Sort of. Maybe knight d5 is interesting. On the check first. King f8. Okay. Um, so he's on f2 as well. Let's just take here. And protect. Rook c2, knight d5. I can let that pawn go because the bishop d5 check. In which case... A rook. What about just rook here? Knight f2, rook d8. Or rook f1 for bishop d5. Rook f1, knight moves, bishop d5. King moves rook f8. This might be a better idea. Bishop d5, rook f8, knight f6. Can I do better than this? Knight d5, knight e7, bishop d5. Or does immediately rook g2 threatens? Okay. Uh, so I'll go with. I think rook f8. So knight f6, bishop b3. Is that knight d5? Um, I can try and grab a perpetual with knight e4, knight e4, bishop g8. And perpetual. 
potential. Try and grab potential. Is that potential check? I think it might be. But he doesn't have to do that. Um, knight c5 to e6. Or knight f6. Knight f6, knight f6. Mm. I'll get out of this. Keep holding the. I don't know. <clears throat> Invite this again without this losing a pawn for a moment. There's knight e4. I think it's still a perpetual area. Okay, uh, he's got rookie four. Um, okay. What would I have here? I'm going to try and win this pawn. Try and get an A pawn. That's not going to happen very easily. Bishop c4 to b5. Okay. Try and target something. What can I target? <clears throat> It's a pawn anyway. And support the pawn with bishop c6. Try and get my king over. Oh, I'm going to just take that. Why don't I just take that? Thanks, yeah, okay. Uh, all right, uh, <laughs> this is uh, tough. Okay, tough today. I've got a steady stream of really strong players. Thanks. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't mind. Um, I'm the evil gremlin, yeah? You had a sweet little creature before. I'm the evil gremlin. Just bring it on. Bring it on. I don't care what rating you are. I'm ruthless as well <laughs> I, don't, I don't i don't actually care what rating you are honestly i don't i don't really care okay so i don't care if you're over 2800 i don't care uh i play to win uh <laughs> as well so yeah bring it on <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, so d5. <sighs> Rook takes d5. Get mated if I play queen d7. He's going to take and then establish like knight and uh, a dangerous knight or winning attack. I can try and test this because uh, this rook on d5 is pretty awkward. Uh, 
Okay, it's an awkward position. He can virtually win the exchange uh, with c4 probably. Uh, I'm going to probably be giving up the exchange with rook d4. But it might not be entirely terrible to play rook d4. So c4, rook d4. But doesn't this give me access? Um, does it give me something which might be okay. <clears throat> right, so knight f6 clearly threatens. Queen e7 might be a way of addressing that. King h8 and then f5. f5 there's always going to be queen c4 as a problem what about king h8 first king h8 first f5 and e4 If I take and then f5 and then e4, oh, I'm mean, doing that badly here. I'll just play this e4 after. All right, these pawns are slightly fragile. E4, knight f5, queen f6. As long as the queen's not doing anything naughty on d4 or d8. Like, it could just, oh, he could just take the knight d4. Am I just to pawn down there? For nothing. The knights can just hold each other. I could just be a pawn down. Hold on a sec. There's queen c5 hitting there. Uh, still, it's knight d4. Maybe that was possible. Okay. I can subtly, uh, not so subtle, queen e5 for queen g3. It seems fairly logical. Well, so there's e3 in the air here. Queen g3 and e3. So I'm threatening queen g3 and maybe e3. And so queen g3, this check. Can you use all that? Queen g3, queen f5, I don't know. Uh, looks good. Okay. Uh. There's queen f8 mate here. It's queen f5 friends mate. I've got queen g at the moment. It's a safety thing. I've got to avoid getting mated. That would be embarrassing. Maybe queen g7. Or queen g6. No, they can shake another pawn out. Um, king g8. There's loads of checks. King g7. Uh, there's probably a few checks. Um, I hate having to give pawn up. Um, maybe, maybe there was better. This is too defensive. Am I going too defensive? If I play queen f7 now, I'm on f2, right? Now it's dangerous again. Oh. 
can I kick this knight before I get slaughtered by it? If the knight goes to e6, why don't, why don't I just take his? Why don't I just take his knight? Probably should just take that knight. Ninety-six. What has he got? Ninety-six. Queen e four. Queen g six. Take that. Giving him another angle. Great. There is maybe knight g5. Um, printing knight f3 and knight h3. Um, well, let's not lose too much time. I'm having trouble thinking. Queen f2 if knight h4. Okay, let's not lose too much time. C6 and Queen D5, just to get the Queens off. Queen... Mm. Right, that Knight's kind of pinned. C6... What about Bishop C5 to D6? It takes... Uh, take on F4 after. So bishop d6, trying to simplify. All right, there's knight f4, knight g6, potentially. Oh, knight e4, knight e4. <sighs> that's, that's so unpleasant, that position. With that knight, those horrible knights forking all the time. I, I, I just should have got rid of that knight. I, I don't know. Thanks anyway. Okay. Okay, um, Rocco. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to call some Queenie one to H four. Okay, so e5 might be good here, I hope. Just try and open up this bishop or something. I might lose a pawn here. Uh, but he's probably got things under control. Mm. Two. 
Right, so the queen can come to h4. I'll try and stop that queen f2. I think maybe, all right. Bishop e3, queen e5, bishop c5 wins the exchange. I hope. Queen e5, bishop c5. Okay, I'm playing bishop c5 anyway, probably. Don't think there's anything stronger than bishop c5. Looking around, I don't think so. Queen f4, maybe rook e4 before bishop f8. Queen f5, maybe bishop f8. I think rook e4 is, or knight e4, knight e4 looks like a nice central knight. Let's just hold this for a moment, this c2 with the bishop. Okay, let's imagine rook g1, rook g5. Rook g1, stop bishop g2 anyway. Rook g3 and double the rooks. Alright, let's blunt this as knight d3. Rook b1 seems pathetic, but uh, what to do about the b2 pawn? I don't know. <clears throat> I need to see there was knight d3 there, so let's see, rook g3. I can't kick these pieces out, can I? Knight d3 for queen b3 now. Great. Is queen e3 not losing anything? Queen e3 might be plausible. Or just rook g3. Okay, just rook g3 maybe to start off with. So if he does knight d3, I'm just going to win that bishop after. What about bishop c4 as well? Okay, or doubling the rooks. Double the rooks. I'm going to lose b2, that would be pathetic. So, okay. Um, uh, queen, queen e3. Is there anything wrong with queen e3? It looks as though it might be a useful thing just to protect things for a moment. Okay, it hits the knight as well. Is he going to support the knight with e5? Alright, that slightly weakens that. Pins that pawn. Okay. c3 might be possible now. Rook e1 and knight g5. Knight g5 hits f7 and h3. Bishop e6, knight e6. Let's see knight g5. Rook e1 and knight g5. Alright, we'll okay, rook d1 here then. Right, there's bishop f7 for knight g5, I've just noticed. Bishop f7, oh, now I missed the chance to do that. Bishop e4 coming up. Let's take this out of a firing line. Okay. 
Okay. If I go to F2 for a moment. Hmm. <laughs> oh, this is passive. Okay. I'm hoping I can do this. And this is also... This is a passive position at the moment. He's also got bishop a tree coming. No big deal, I hope, at the moment. Knight g5 threatens the bishop and knight f7 check. Hooray. Well, I'll, I'm tempted to take the bishop. Uh, I can sort of take here and then take the knight. Um, there's a few good options. Uh, uh, I'll take the bishop. This pawn, bishop b3 and knight g5 for knight f7 again. Right, okay, I'll give back the exchange, I think. I mean, I'll give the exchange. It's still piece up with knight f7 now, menacing. Okay, can I take this guy? Right, thanks for the game, Rocco. That was actually really tough. Thanks. Chess Beauty. Um, okay. I'll try Sicilian. That's Knight F6 business. Um, I'll try this. <clears throat> I think I've seen this before at some point. I think I've seen some sort of Grandmaster game with it. Uh, Hmm. Is D five any any good? Should I just take that? I'll just take that. I mean, I will. So you just want the queens off, really. Hmm. All right, so uh, knight d5, knight f4. Oh, what's actually, what's wrong with b6 and bishop b7? This should help. B6, Bishop B7 should help things. Except my king's in the center, there's always Bishop A4 and it's just castle. B6, 
b6, bishop b7, any bishop a4, bishop e7, any c4, um, knight e7, or knight f6. I don't know if double pawns are a big deal. In fact, f6 here seems handy and weaken this, these light squares, though. That's exactly what he wants, I guess. And if I leave that there, I could just leave that there and avoid weakening any light squares. I'll do that. I need C4 with knight f4 anyway. Why can't I just play knight f4 here? So now bishop b7 and let's see, what am I doing in that position? This infiltration on d7 is unpleasant. There's a check. That could be useful. And then f6, and then e5 for knight d4. I'm, I'm going to try this route. So f6, if the bishop goes there, e5 for knight d4. Accepting knight square issues. Uh, okay, uh, I'll do this. In any case, rook, rookie 1. Knight f4. As long as my bishop covers d7, forget this plan. I think my bishop's going to cover d7. Can I just play knight f4? Yes, he could double, but he hasn't got that many infiltration points with his rooks just yet. So, in fact, okay, say he doubles, bishop g4 coming up and rook d8. And then play bishop f3 and then knight d4 later. In fact, okay, maybe even g5 here, and then bishop e6. I can always take this way. Bishop e6, hit c4. Bishop e6, now what has he got? Knight b5, bishop b8. He's got bishop f5. Maybe that was too weakening. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. I take on d6. Um, I can play. Oh no no no. no. I can just take on f5 and then rook d8. As long as 97 is not killing. 97 I've got e7 covered. What's wrong with... What's wrong with king f7 to e6? Okay, can I use that e5 square? If I take it, I'll get that e5 square. He's got rook e6. No, he hasn't got rook e6. Right, I'll try and get this e5 square. So I imagine knight e5, there's a check and then knight d5. That could be a nuisance. Right. What about just um, bishop e5 coming up? Knight, knight d4, bishop e5, knight e6, rook d1, rook d1, rook e8. Knight e6, rook d1, rook d1, rook e6. Okay, I can take and then rook c8. There's knight e7. If I take and then king f7. I'll take it then king f7 instead, d7, king e6. Um, hmm. What about this bishop takes b2? Is that too greedy? I can win 
a3 there's rook d7 bishop a3 there's bishop c5 bishop sits nice on c5 all right so here we go rook e2 coming up Rook d5. Oh, there's rook e1. I don't think he's got rook d5. There's rook e1 and bishop g1. Let's say knight d5. There's king f7. Knight d5 friends, knight f6. So king f7. I want to play rook e2 next. Rook e2 for rook c2. There's rook e6 here for a moment. And h5 and then g4. This is dangerous. If I want to get this h5, it would be like mating that potential. Any knight f4, there's bishop d6. There's either king g3 or g3 to look at. Oh, he's breaking up the pawns here. Right. Okay. There's rookie two for G tanks. Um, or maybe not. Or rookie. Okay, this one. Mm. There's pawns on both sides of the board. All right, thanks. Uh, uh, yeah, happy anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth anniversary, yeah. It's wonderful to be part of Chess 24, so uh, uh, I, I'm swiftly going to go now and, and have fun for the rest of the day against other streamers. Okay, thanks very much. Cheers then.